In this video, we're going to talk about Ansem Crypto Exposure and his portfolio because he just tweeted about that. So if you didn't know, Ansem is the main character of Solana right now, tweeting various memes, uh, starting with Weave, but of course he tweeted about Boden and a bunch of other memes as well. So he's a quite a big character in Solana, tweeting about that and moving the markets with that. Uh, but apart from Solana and various memes, he also talked about what his, uh, uh, what his exposure is uh, for 2024. So first of all, Solana, of course, as you can see on the list, but then the second is Coinbase Stock plus Base L2. I totally understand this play because first of all, Coinbase Stock uh, is a really nice way uh, for the general uh, market, especially the public market, to get exposure to crypto. This is right now we have, of course, Bitcoin ETFs, but uh, Coinbase Stock is really serving pretty much the same thing because m the, the more bullish the market is, the Coinbase stock should grow, basically. Of course, nothing here is financial advice. Uh, I should say everything here is for uh, educational purpose only. Uh, and on top of that, Coinbase has its own layer two to Ethereum, that's Base, and basically Base might have an airdrop at some point. So not only you're playing on Base with various memes, but uh, on top of that, you might get an airdrop at some point. So this uh, Solana memes plus Coinbase memes is totally understandable. And those two chains, uh, Base plus Solana, are the biggest when it comes to meme coins right now. They're the, the, and I think number three is Blast, another L2 for Ethereum uh, as well. So this is the play, uh, this is the, the top of the play. Now, next we have two big projects. One is Prime, the other is Itina. So Prime, if you didn't know, is a, a card game. So Prime is uh, Parallel Life. This is the biggest car, uh, card game that is connected to crypto as well. So you have free to play trading card game, but you're getting different cards and you can buy on top of that different stuff. So that's super interesting. So that's one thing they keep on building and really becoming super popular. Itina on the other hand uh, is uh, a place where you can basically have the synthetic dollars. Uh, they're a huge DeFi project. So uh, I think uh, Ansem is at least investor in Tina, maybe in uh, Parallel Life as well. Uh, but basically he has that on the top of his playbook. So that already means something. Then we have a pretty nice category of different uh, memes plus uh, social fi and I wanted to mention that as well. So first of all, we have ordinals and here you have a token called Pops. This is coming from Bitcoin Puppets. So Bitcoin Puppets is one of the top collections when it comes to ordinals. Uh, they started as a, you know, almost uh, draw, drawn in paint uh, figures become super popular. Many NFT influencers embrace them and they become uh, really on a skyrocket race, uh, but at some point they did an, a token airdrop. And this is Pops, this is the token that Ansem is referring to here. So definitely worth checking out, even though it's really pumped recently, I think it did like five to 10 X. Uh, so you might want to wait for the better price to enter. Also, he mentions a bunch of memes, uh, with and Bolden, of course, on Solana, uh, probably in this category of Bolden, you have so Joe Bolden and you have Donald Trump, uh, two public figures, two political figures, you have a bunch of other characters like that, uh, that are doing pretty good when it comes to meme coins. Uh, and then worth mentioning is definitely social fi category. So you have Friend and Dejan, uh, Dejan chain. Uh, so actually Dejan project, maybe I start with Dejan, uh, easier to explain. And then I will go to Friend tag because there are many, additional stuff that has happened recently. So for Degen, basically, uh, the Degen is the meme coin that started on Farcaster. Farcaster is basically the web-free version of Twitter. Uh, and with Farcaster, you don't really have a token yet. So Degen kind of became the token of, the, of uh, Farcaster. And the creator of Degen actually started building on top of that. And they created the entire L layer three because so <laughs> that, that uh, Farcaster itself is on layer two, uh, on base, uh, Degen is a layer two to layer two, which makes it into a layer three. So that's Degen chain and Degen became the natural gas token for this layer three. And on top of that, you can have meme coins on this layer three, which is pretty interesting. So uh, I'm definitely going to come back with more news about the dead and chain itself, but this is definitely an interesting play here. Uh, on the other hand, we have friend and friend tech. So there's no token yet, but you can buy, of course, keys. I, I've been doing videos about friend tech basically last year when it was so super popular uh, back then, then people stopped using it uh, for some time. And now it's coming back because uh, there are rumors of an airdrop and this airdrop 
airdrop might be really massive. So I wanted to have a look at this, this massive thread from John Wang, uh, who explains uh, the uh, friend tech version two dropping in one month. And on top of that, uh, explaining how, uh, what, what might happen in general. Uh, so basically uh, he mentions that uh, in the in the short that base plus meme coin frenzy might make for a really great entry here. Uh, so uh, enhanced chat utility retention, on-chain communal cooperation, accessibility, uh, assets originated within consumer social apps and embedded DEXs will be the primary domain for retail trading. There will be new point system, native decentralized exchange, tradable collectible, so not only keys, but something more, temporary room passes, chat from UX, revolving telegram, exclusive money clubs, and so on. So basically uh, version two is coming and it will encompass much more than just uh, version one. It will be more akin to Telegram with integrated uh, web free payments. So that might be, might be super interesting. Uh, there's a lot of analysis from John Wang on how high uh, Frentech can actually go. And there's the, still a room to raise, especially when you have these new features of native decentralized exchange, uh, plus those different chat rooms, uh, subscriptions, customizable boundary curves, and so on. So there's more, more and more stuff coming along the way which is super interesting. And of course, there's airdrop, which will be massive. Uh, if you want to qualify, of course, use, use uh, Frentech. You probably can find me on Frentech as well uh, and, and jump into the chat. Uh, but of course, uh, you can create your own account. If you're on Twitter, you can connect it to, uh, to Frentech basically and create your own account. Uh, it's becoming more popular again, and especially it will be super popular just before the airdrop once everything is announced because of course people like airdrops. So this is it for the thread. This is why also Ansem likes it. Um, and there are a couple of things that he mentions that he has to do uh, and still uh, not done. So first of all, Cosmos rollups uh, is one thing. Of course, Cosmos ecosystem is getting super popular with things like uh, Celestia coming along the way. Uh, I love myself Cosmos, for example, for Kanto. Uh, DeFi L1 chain, uh, you have different alt uh, VMs, L1, so for example, Kanto, but different L2s as well coming along the way. Blast is a great example here. Uh, AI exposure, exposure is of, of course definitely important. AI plus gaming are the two narratives of 2024 that will be big uh, and might be big also in 2025. So definitely worth checking them out. Uh, I tend to cover a lot of AI coins on my channel, so subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss anything. So this is it for Asm portfolio. I'll be coming back to it uh, for particular videos, for example, about the data chain and other meme coins. Uh, also a video about Prime as well. Uh, so definitely subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.